for whatever reason, even in a secular country like this, we have arrived at a point where there's a sort of latent belief within the popular consciousness that to be scientific is to somehow be sort of desiccated and dry and uh, to miss out on the magic and mystery of one's experiences and the, the world and so on. You dispute that, right? So Not only dispute it, I mean, it's just the exact opposite of the truth. Science is wonderful. Science is amazing. The, the fact that you could understand why you exist, who could not be turned on, who could not be excited by that, who would ever want to live in a world where you live your life, you go to work, you go to the office, whatever it is, you go to the football match, and this goes on year after year, and then you die. And you don't have any understanding of why you were there in the first place. That's desiccated, that's dry. What is not dry and desiccated is coming into the world, as it were, awakening in the, in the world, and awakening in the fullest sense of, of seeing the universe, seeing the stars, seeing down a microscope, seeing what's inside every single cell, seeing what's inside the brain, and marvelling at this wonderful gift of life that we have, albeit temporarily, marvelling at this gift of understanding why we exist and rejoicing in it for as long as we do exist. Richard Dawkins, thank you very much. Thank you.